Let's talk about the ultrasonic tester. Uh, this is part of our non-destructive testing sequences. And what we have is a portable unit that sends out an ultrasonic signal. You can see it has an on and off button. And it's pretty much that simple to start up. The angles that you see here refer to the angle of the transducer to the workpiece. Right now it is at zero. Uh, we do have transducers that can uh, go at angles. Let me just show you one here very, very briefly um, without getting too crazy about it. Here's one for uh, 45 degrees, or 60 degrees, excuse me. And you can see this transducer mounts onto here. And then we can shoot this at a 60 degree angle so the signal will come down. Whereas this one comes straight down. And you say, why the difference? Well, you use the angled ones to shoot welds. You go down and back and you expect the signal to arrive at a certain place. If it doesn't, then that means there's some interference in here, which is usually indication of a poor weld. So these are used for welding. But for straight crack detection, what we have here is a nice block of steel, two inches thick, and we've drilled three different size holes in it. And what we're hoping to see is that as the transducer passes over the hole, we get a mark on our uh, screen over here. So let's see how that works. First, we tell the system that it's at zero degrees. Uh, if you know what you were using last time, you can use that last setting. And you can see we also have 45, 60, and 70. And we simply hit enter. Now, unless we need to calibrate this, we're ready to run the test. It's that simple. And you can see i got a full battery charge. We're good to go. So what do we do? We need to use some uh, contact fluid. Uh, this can be as simple as Vaseline, but usually we use something a little bit better. Um, and if you've ever had an ultrasound in the hospital, it's this material, only a little more sterile. Just have some alcohol in it, uh, this little bit less so. But we apply it to our area. And then we make good contact. That's what the oil does. It makes a good contact. And now look at my screen. You see it says 1.96364 inches. It's measuring the depth. This is the back signal here where my index finger is. And this is the zero. And I, right now I am a little thick. I got the gain set up. But I want you to see it. Now watch what happens. I'm going to pass over this large hole. And watch carefully in here on the screen as I do it. I'm going to start to move it over nice and slow, keeping my fluid contact good. And let me get it to go here. There it is. Look at that. You see that spike in the middle at about 0.75 inches? That's indicating some discrepancy in the system. And it's that subtle. you got to look for it. And what you're measuring over here is the top of the hole. So let's go to this middle hole. It's a little farther down. And I'll get it. Just give me a minute. There it is. And now you can see that one's just about at one inch. And then we could go a little deeper on the third hole. Let me get the system. you got to make sure you have really good contact. Let's see. There it is. And it's right at one inch. So you're seeing, and you notice that you're seeing some backscatter, some double here. What's going on there? Well, what's happening is this transducer is very wide. This is a tiny hole, so it's actually picking up two di different portions of the surface there. So what you're doing is indicating that something between the thickness is interrupting the signal. And that could be an impurity. Uh, that could be a hole. So we're using crack detection. Now, as we wrap this up, this, we only know about the top surfaces of these holes. How do we prove to ourselves this is round? We'd have to test this sample on all four sides and measure those discrepancies and plot it out. So this is a time-consuming process, but what we have done very, very quickly is determine that there are three faults across this surface and, in fact, are those three drilled holes. So this is a very quick introduction to testing using the ultrasound. And this is the one non-destructive test along with x-ray 
that allows us to see the interior of the part.